A critical part of the project is to empower Grenadian writers and illustrators with the necessary knowledge and skills needed to develop storybooks for young readers. Six illustrators were chosen following a selection process and are now completing a week-long training workshop before publishing their work. Lead illustrator Stacey Byer says once the books are complete, they will be made available online. And we send it to a book designer who will put the book together in a form online so it can be printed and published. So they're actually going to end up with a physical copy of their work and the story will be in here. So a physical picture book. Katia Chen, lead illustrator for Room to Read, says the project will be rooted in Grenadian culture, which will be portrayed in the final product. Fiction, but based on Grenadian culture, yeah. so definitely rooted mm -hmm. in um, the reality in terms of the culture here. Um, but fiction, in terms of it's 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 made up, you know, made up fictional characters. Two participants, Aline Galston and Sulin Lotau Chen, says they are very thrilled to be part of this initiative. The stories that were chosen so they can do these books are based on Grenada culture, Grenadianisms, yeah, and Grenada culture, um, and and so there's a lot of that coming across. So this is an exceptional project. I like to doodle um, a lot of stuff. Um, and doing this, especially for me, is like giving back to the community um, and the country. Uh, so getting in, um, like these books, something to connect with not only the kids, also the parents when they pick up the book to read to the kids, you know, they get some form of memory of their past. Grenadian playwright Ricardo Kings Douglas, who has also published his own very highly successful children's work entitled Nutmeg Princess, was also part of this process. Janelle McDonnell, GBN News.